If you're an existing Oklahoma grower, or you're looking to get your license for the next round of applications, you may be required to purchase a surety bond before you submit your application to the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority, the OMMA, often called OMA. In this short video, I'm gonna help you understand what a surety bond is, why OMA is requiring the bond, what the bond amount is and how it could change, how much you have to pay for the bond, and where to get your bond for the lowest possible price. But first, what is a surety bond? A surety bond is a three-party insurance agreement required by OMA as a financial guarantee that you will follow the regulations laid down by OMA as a grow operation and that you will operate your grow operation in an ethical way towards your customer base. OMA is called the obligé. They're the ones requiring the surety bond. The surety is the insurance company that writes the bond and you are the principal, the grower who is bound by the requirements of OMA. If you want a more detailed explanation of the three-party surety bond agreement, click on the upper right-hand corner and watch our full video called What is a Surety Bond? for, like, like I said, a more detailed explanation. Why is OMA requiring this bond? This surety bond is a brand new bonding requirement, so regulations may change and things may be updated as we go forward, but at the current moment, the primary reason is called reclamation. So in the event that your grow operation abandons the property, has your license revoked, leaving your business as is, leaves heavy equipment on the property, leaves product growing after shutting down the business, or OMA has to pay additional money to keep public off the land after the business is shut down, OMA is responsible for reclaiming the land and restoring it back for general use. The bond is gonna provide the financial recourse to allow this to happen without using taxpayer money. There are other situations that the bond does help protect OMA and the state of Oklahoma. Some of these are following state codes for canopy operation, following relevant grower licensing laws, all other rules and regulations, and paying any fees and taxes that may be due during the time that the bond and your business is operating. So remember how I said this bond may be required? If you, the land that you're gonna use for your grow operation has been owned by you or your business entity for over five years, at the current moment, you do not have to actually purchase this surety bonds, but keep up to, the, uh, up to date with OMA, because as always, since this is so new, these things may be updated in the future. What is the required bond amount? Right now, OMA requires a minimum bond amount of $50,000. However, it is possible that the bond amount could increase if the Department of Environmental Quality deems your property or restoring your property to general use to be excessively expensive. Excessively expensive will include things such as topography of the canopy, cost of removing equipment, destruction of waste products, the cost of prohibiting the public from accessing the land, plus other factors. All of our current customers and Oklahoma growers have been required to pay the $50,000 bond amount, so we have yet to see a bond amount greater than that, but I just want you to know that this is a possibility, so if it does happen to you, then uh, you're not gonna be like super surprised by it. How much does this bond cost? The cost of the OMA surety bond is determined by three factors. Primarily, personal credit, business history since 2018, the year that the uh, marijuana law was actually signed into law. Business financials can be a factor as well. The surety, remember the insurance company that writes the bonds, will use these factors and determine a rate. This rate multiplied by the bond amount, which is typically, typically gonna be $50,000, will be your cost. At this moment, these, here's some examples of the most uh, common rates that we've been seeing so far. 4.5% for a bond cost of $2,500, 5% for a bond cost of $3,000, 8% for a bond cost of $4,000, and 10% for a bond cost of $5,000. The key to getting a good rate is to get multiple quotes from multiple sureties, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But once you purchase your bond, the bond term is one year's right now. So after one year, you're gonna to have to renew your bond, and this will require a new rate, but it's also an opportunity to get a better rate and pay less for your bond. How can you pay as little as possible? Surety Bonds Direct is a specialized surety agency. This means that we work with multiple sureties and we can collect multiple rates for you to find you the lowest possible price. And trust me from experience, these rates can vary wildly. Sometimes this can add up to saving you thousands of dollars on, on the bond that you need to purchase. And we get it, this is an expensive bond. So make sure that you uh, talk to your bond specialist because you may qualify for bond financing, which will allow you to break that uh, uh, initial premium up into smaller chunks. And when it comes time to renew your bond, Surety Bonds Direct makes it really easy. We'll contact you well in advance of your renewal date to make sure that we can secure that new uh, rate, hopefully lower, and make sure that your bond remains active so that's not a problem for you. If you have any questions about the OMA Surety Bond, ask in the comments. If you know um, some information about some new regulations, let me know in the comments too so I can update this video with the correct information because again, this is changing. 
Contact uh, Surety Bonds Direct at 1-800-608-9950 if you want to talk to a real person or visit our website at suretybondsdirect.com. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped.